In the last two lectures, we understood how to perform the addition and subtraction in different number systems. And now, in this lecture, we are going to solve two problems based on the concepts we discussed. So, let us move on to our problem number one. If 137 plus 276 is equal to 435, then what will be the result of 731 plus 672? And there are four options given in the problem. Option A is 534. Option B is 1623. Option C is 1403. And the final option, option D, is 1531. So now let us see how to handle these kind of problems. There are two additions given in the problem. And the result of first addition is already given in the problem. And we are required to find the result of second addition. Now, if you remain little careless and perform this addition in decimal number system, you will get 1403 as the answer. But we should not mark this as the right answer because we will first confirm the number system in which these two additions are being performed. And in order to find the number system, we need to find the base of the number system. So from where we can find the base of the number system? We can find the base of the number system from this first complete addition given in the problem. So let us analyze this addition. 137 added with 276 giving us 435. And we will shift our focus on the digits at one's place. 7 is the digit of the first number at one's place. 6 is the digit of the second number at one's place. And when we are adding 7 and 6, we are getting the intermediate sum equal to 5. And I have clearly explained that we get intermediate sum and the carry from the contribution by the two digits. So, when we add 7 and 6, we are getting 13. This 13 is the contribution by 7 and 6 together in the final number. So, 7 plus 6 will give us the contribution equal to 13. And we know that from 13, we will get our carry and we will get the intermediate sum. We know the intermediate sum is equal to 5. It is equal to 5. So now we have 13 equal to carry plus 5. From this, we can get the carry. The carry will be equal to 8. And this 8, when transferred to the next column, will be written as 1. So we can say that 8 is the base of the number system in which the two additions are being performed. And therefore, we have the octal number system. Now, we will quickly verify this addition. 7 plus 6 is equal to 13. Now, using the divide by base method, we will divide 13 by the base equal to 8. It will give us the remainder or the intermediate sum equal to 5. And the carry will be 1. 1 plus 3 plus 7 is equal to 11. 11 when divided by the base 8 will give us the intermediate sum 3 and it will give the carry equal to 1. 1 plus 1 plus 2 is equal to 4. 4 when divided by 8 will give us the intermediate sum equal to 4 and the carry equal to 0. So you can see that we are getting the correct result. And now we will quickly perform the addition of these two numbers in octal number system and have our answer. 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. 3 when divided by 8, the base of the number system will give us the intermediate sum equal to 3 and it will give us carry equal to 0. 0 plus 3 plus 7 is equal to 10. 10 when divided by 8 will give us 2 as the intermediate sum and it will give 1 as the carry. 1 plus 7 plus 6 is equal to 14. 14 when divided by 8 will give us the intermediate sum equal to 6 and it will give carry equal to 1. This 1 we will add with 0 and 0 and we will have 1. 
So in this way, we are getting 1623 as our answer and therefore option B is the correct option. So we are done with our problem number 1 and now we will move on to our problem number 2. If 10001 minus 2222 is equal to 4446, then what will be the result of 2342 minus 1656? There are four options given. Option A is 353. Option B is 453. Option C is 723. And option D is 483. Now again, do not assume that these two subtractions are in decimal number system and first try to confirm the number system by finding the base. So let us see how we can find the base from the initial subtraction given. In this complete subtraction, the minuend is 10001 and the subtrahend is 2222. And we are getting the difference equal to 4446. And we know we begin the subtraction process from the rightmost digits. 1 is the digit of minuend, 2 is the digit of subtrahend, and we can see that 1 is smaller than 2. And we know whenever the digit of minuend is smaller than the digit of subtrahend, we do the borrowing. So 1 will get the borrow from the next higher place. 0 is at the next higher place, but it cannot give borrow to 1. So 0 will seek borrow again from its next higher place. Again we have 0, so this 0 will again seek the borrow. Again we have 0, and this 0 will finally get the borrow from this 1. Now if you remember in the previous lecture, I clearly proved that the borrow is going to be equal to the base of the number system. And in this case, we do not know the base of the number system. That is what we want to find out actually. And therefore, let us assume the base of the number system is equal to x. So 1 will give x to 0. x plus 0 will be x. And here we will have 1 minus 1 equal to 0. Moving further, we will give x to this 0. So here we will have x plus 0 equal to x. And here we will have x minus 1. Then we will give borrow to this 0. And the borrow will be equal to base x. Here we will have x plus 0 equal to x and here we will have x minus 1 and finally we will give borrow to this 1 which is equal to x so here we will have x plus 1 and here we will have x minus 1 now focus properly and we can find out the value of x which is the base of our number system you can see that x plus 1 minus 2 is giving us 6. x plus 1 minus 2 is giving us 6. x plus 1 minus 2 is equal to x minus 1. So x minus 1 is equal to 6. Now when you add 1 on both the sides, you will have x minus 1 plus 1 equal to x. And we will have 6 plus 1 equal to 7. So in this way we have obtained the base of the number system in which these two subtractions are being performed. We can also verify the rest of the digits in the result. x is equal to 7. So x minus 1 will be 6. 6 minus 2 is equal to 4. Here also we will have 6. 6 minus 2 is equal to 4. Again we have 6 minus 2 equal to 4. And here we have 0. So you can see that we are getting the correct number. So now we can perform this subtraction in septal number system 2342 minus 1656. And this subtraction is a homework problem for you. So try to find the answer of this subtraction and select the correct option.
And once you have the right option, don't forget to post it in the comment section. So this is all for this lecture. I will end it here and I will see you in the next one.